Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and uh, currently the Lollipop, the official Lollipop update is out for the Galaxy S4. As always, Samsung's rolling this out via regions, so you might have not received the over-the-air update just yet. But if you want the update immediately, you can manually flash it without tripping the Nox counter, without affecting your warranty status if need be. So in this video, I have a Galaxy S4 i9-505 with me, but this is also applicable to the i9-500. So uh, you just need to go into, I mean, go and verify your model number. Uh, it, the file you download is a little different depending on if it's the i9-505 or the i9-500. So the 505 is the Qualcomm variant, the Snapdragon 600 inside, and the 500 is the Exynos variant. So anyway, uh, following this procedure will not cause you to lose your apps or data. They will be retained, but just to be safe, go ahead, back, your apps, back up your apps and data before you proceed. So once you've done that, just go ahead, turn off your Galaxy S4, and once it's off, hold down volume, power, and home at the same time. And hit volume up. Leave it as it is for the time being. I head on over to the download section in the description. Clicking on link one would take you to this page. Download keys from here. And link two would take you to this page or a different mirror, but you'd have to download Odin v3.09 from here. And link three will take you to Sam Mobile, the firmware's page. So over here, if you have a i9505, type in i9505 and select Galaxy S4 LTE. If you have a i9500, type in i9500, select Galaxy S4. All right, so for example, you search for i9500, you still find firmwares with, uh, you get the list of firmwares for the Exynos variant. Download any of these with Lollipop mentioned, so the version 5.0.1. All right, so since I'm, I currently have i9505, just selecting it. And over here, we've got a couple of, a few releases uh for this as well so go ahead download download it so i've done that already i've installed keys this is the file downloaded from link 2 and this is the one downloaded from link 3. so quickly go ahead extract these two files and for uh, once you get this right click on odin select run as administrator so guys before we do this make sure that keys is installed in the system so enough just connect quickly connect your galaxy s4 to the pc with a micro usb cable all right just leave it as it is so as long as the drivers are installed correctly this would turn blue if it doesn't make sure keys isn't running in the background if it is exit it and then try again uh, if not, uninstall keys, reboot your PC, reinstall keys again, reboot again, and try, and it should work. So now, uh, go ahead, click on AP, and navigate to wherever it is that we have the uh, the firmware file. So I've got it under Lollipop Official. So once you extract the file you download from Link3, you will get a file ending .tar.md5. So just select that file. Odin would appear to be unresponsive for a, for a bit, but don't worry about it uh, it would get responsive quick all right guys now make sure that auto reboot and f dot reset time are the only two checked everything else remains unchecked just ensure that and then click start so this process would take about five to ten minutes to complete uh, at the, once it's done your galaxy s4 will reboot i'll be back with you guys once it's done so there you go guys once you see this blue reset over here you can close odin and uh, unplug your phone from the PC. We are done with the PC part of this tutorial. So at this point, you can see your Galaxy S4 reboot, the little green Android running there. So your phone will reboot. And uh, remember, the first boot into a fresh ROM is always going to take longer than your regular boot time. So give it about five minutes and your Galaxy S4 will reboot. If you were rooted prior to this or if prior to this procedure, you had a custom ROM installed, or for some reason going past 10 minutes your phone still doesn't reboot pull out the battery pop it back in after 10 seconds and then hold up volume power and home at the same time 
Once you see the Galaxy S4 logo displayed, let the keys go. That would take you into your into your into your recovery. From there, just do a wipe data slash factory reset, as in use your volume keys, navigate, select, uh, wipe data factory reset, uh, wipe cache partition, and then reboot. I, I will leave written instructions on how to troubleshoot that in the description below. But in all probability, you will not have to do that. Your phone will reboot. So anyway, guys. I will be back with you in a few minutes once my Galaxy S4 reboots. So there you go guys, we're up. Quickly going into settings. Let me just turn this down a little bit. Um, more about device. And there you go. We're currently running on Lollipop 5.0.1. So as you guys can see, all my apps and data have been retained. Uh, I haven't lost anything, but still, uh, I suggested you guys to back it up just to be safe. So anyway, guys, I guess that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial on how to flash the official uh, Lollipop update from Samsung onto your Galaxy S4, i9 500 or i9 505. Hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. If you do run into any issues, if you do have any queries, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as and when I can. So uh, I guess that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.